Hello, hello, good evening. Ana Maria, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? How is your daughter? Yes. I'm doing fine, thank you. Excellent, and your daughter? My, my daughter is fine, también. her fine. It's fine too, okay, excellent. With me. Um, <laughs> what? Sorry, I didn't hear you well. Yes. Okay, so let me check who else is coming. We have Loida and my dad coming to class. Hello, ladies, can you hear me well? My dad and Loida. Good evening, Roberto. Good evening, teacher. Okay, does the does my voice sound clear uh, with no interruption? Yes or no? Can you hear me well without interruptions? Hello. I'm testing the, the internet connection. So let me know if you can hear me well, or if there is an interference or my voice is cutting. Okay, Elias. Okay, thank you. So that's what I needed to know. We're going to get started with today's session. Um, it's session number 15. So that means that today we're going to be finishing with basically all of the, of the activities from the section five. And um, also we are going to make sure, right? That you don't have any inconvenience with the platform, with the exercises, with the, the evaluations, right? And um, we're going to practice, okay? As much as possible. And we're going to start right away. So what did we study yesterday? What do you remember about yesterday's class? What did we practice yesterday? Uh-huh. Uh, tell me about your family. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about uh, your family. Uh huh. Mm. Um, the pronunciation. Pronunciation. Uh huh. What about grammar? What was the topic that we grammar were discussing? School. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The present. The present continuous. Present continuous. Excellent, continuous. my dear. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Elena and Teresa, welcome. How are you doing? Hello, I'm fine. I'm work. Okay, very good. Elena? Good evening. Good evening. All right, so we're going to, uh, we were talking about the present continuous. Okay, I mentioned the three different applications that we have for the present continuous. The number one is the normal one that we use for the situation that is happening at the moment of speaking, right? So for example, right now, my sister is um, receiving an English class. My nephew is watching TV on the, in, in the living room. And my mother is checking her, well, she's surfing the internet on her phone in the kitchen. 
Uh, my dog, I think, is playing with the cat in the, in the yard. So that is what's happening right now in my house. And I am um, giving my class, I am teaching my English class in my bedroom because it's the private place that I have. Okay, so uh, that is happening right now. Now, what is happening in your house? What are the people in your house doing right now? Give me one example or two, it's okay. Let's begin with... Uh, Ana Maria, tell me two examples about something that is happening at home, something that somebody is doing at home. Ana Maria, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, the is silencio, teacher. <laughs> what? Um, I eating a lot i am eating okay right now you are eating okay good and what about your daughter what is she doing uh she's she's uh to rest she is resting uh, she is resting. resting she's resting very good she's resting with so um okay i'm going to share the whiteboard with you right now so that you can see the example that you are giving right so i'm eating that one that's one example i'm eating another example uh i'm eating a lot you said right okay uh my daughter is resting okay excellent more examples uh my day Please give me one or two examples about what people are doing at home right now in, in your house. My mother if you, if, is, is, uh -huh. is, sleep, is sleeping. Excellent. My mom <laughs> yes. is sleeping. My uh -huh. brother is, is, is studying. My brother or my bro is studying. Is studying. studying. Mm -hmm. Excellent. My family nice. are watching TV. Okay, in this case, uh, Ana Maria, you say my family is. Family ah, is perdón, considered es, plural. Uh, is, my family is, yes. is a singular. I mean, it's, it's considered a singular TV. watching TV. <laughs> the word family is a collective noun because you, we refer to a group of people, but the word is considered grammatically a singular so for that reason we say my family is uh -huh. like when you okay. say the police the police is a very important organization and you know when you say the police you refer to a lot of people but the word in in grammar is considered singular okay excellent um let's continue with more examples loida are you there Yes, but okay. in this moment, I am alone. So. <laughs> oh, you're alone, so. Yeah, so. Give me one example um, about you. <laughs> I am taking. Um, I'm taking. I taking class of English. I'm taking an English class, very good. An English class, yes. I'm taking an English class. Okay. My um, pet is sleeping. Okay, <laughs> my pet is sleeping. Now, something that, uh, that you can do, for example, in this case, if you don't know, if you're not sure what your family is doing, right? Um, you can say, I think, like you can guess, right? I think my mom is watching uh, the soap operas, right? Viendo la novela, watching the soap opera. Uh, watching a soap opera, or you can say, I think my dad is probably reading the newspaper. So you can guess what your family, um, your family members are doing. Okay, next examples. We're going to listen to... Teresa. Hello. Hello. Okay. I'm working 
is hard. I'm working hard right now. Okay, you're working hard right now. Another example? Um, my, my dad uh -huh. is um, is working. My, my dad is working. Uh, me, me uh, what is he doing right now? Uh, at this moment. My dad is working. In the office. In the office, okay. Let's go on. Thank you so much. Uh, Sonia, what about you? Don't understand. Sonia? Hello? Don't understand, teacher. Oh, okay. So you have to mention one example or two examples about something that your family is doing at the moment, right now. Mm. Um. Maybe your mom, maybe your brother, your husband, your son, your sister, your dad, your grandfather, your cat, your dog, anybody at home. Um, in, oh, 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 no sé si es correcto, my work is very, very heavy. Mm, in this case, no. It has, tiene que ser algo que está sucediendo, okay? Algo que alguien está haciendo en su casa, por ejemplo. Ah, you can say, okay. my sister is watching TV or my brother is listening to music. In this moment, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my dog is oh, wrong. Oh, I'm running. My dog is running. Okay, is running around the house running. okay yeah, he's running around the house excellent thank you so much isaac can you please give me one example then we continue with veronica soveda elena and we have miguel and alba okay hello good evening and my uh, hello I am watching and listening my English class uh, in my room. And okay, I'm listening to my English class in my room. Okay. I am with my uncle and aunt. They are watching the news. Creo que así se dice la, la noticia. Uh, my uncle and aunt are watching the news. Excellent, thank you so yeah. much. Let's continue, next volunteer. That would be, ten, ten, ten. okay, Veronica. How do you say uh, trastes? I Dishes. don't remember. Dishes. Dishes. Okay. Um, I'm washing the dishes. I'm washing the dishes. Yes, it's possible. I'm washing the dishes, or you can also say I'm doing. I'm doing the dishes. That's another another no. expression to okay. say that. I'm doing the dishes. I'm doing the laundry. I'm um, doing the cleaning, right? Like different things at home. I'm doing the cleaning. Okay, excellent. Are there Next one. Example? 
um, yep. swimming in the pool. Swimming in the pool. In the pool. Okay. Who? Who is swimming in the pool? My boyfriend. Okay. My boyfriend is swimming in the pool. Boyfriend is swimming in the pool. Excellent. Next one. Uh, Sobeida. Hello. Hello. My example are my brother is exercising right now. Is exercising. Ex exercising right now. Okay, you can say my brother is exercising or you can say my brother is doing exercise. Both are okay. So okay. you say my brother or my bro is exercising right now. Uh -huh. Or you can say my brother is doing exercises. Mm -hmm. Another example? Okay. Another, my mother is cooking dinner. 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 Yeah, very good. I'm going to give you, uh, it's doing exercises and I'm going to give you another example. You can say, okay. my brother is working out, working out. That's another option. Workout is uh, it's also exercise. Okay, mm -hmm. and you said okay. that my, my mom is cooking dinner. Okay, thank you so much. So you thank see, you. this is the most important part of learning a language that you use it, right? That you use it. Okay, my mom is cooking dinner, that you participate, that you volunteer, that you speak. No, no fear, right? You don't have to worry about making mistakes. It's something normal. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Thank you so much. We continue with Miguel. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my wife is uh, watching Netflix. Okay, my wife is watching Netflix. Well, your wife uh, is watching ex Netflix. Other examples. Mm -hmm. uh, my son is uh, watching games on his phone. Okay, is watching or is playing? Um, games, games. Playing or watching? What is he doing? Play, play. Playing games, okay, play playing games. games on his phone. His phone. Nice. Thank you so yeah. much, Miguel. Alba, okay. what about your example? What is happening at home right now? My parents watching TV. My parents? My parents are, wa are watching TV and, uh -huh. and eating the dinner. <laughs> and eating dinner. Okay, excellent. So you can, you can mention two or three activities that people are doing, right? So for example, right now, I am listening to you, I'm speaking, and I am taking notes. Okay, I'm writing the examples. So, are watching uh, TV and eating dinner. Okay, very good. And after Alba, we're going to listen to Gladys. Gladys or Elena, whoever wants to go first. Elena. Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, I'm cooking. Okay. Um, I'm cooking dinner, I let's say. Uh -huh. I, I feel sick. Ah, okay. It is possible to say that. I'm feeling sick. Okay, I'm feeling sick. It is possible to say that. Uh, my, my daughter uh, is, is studying. Okay, my daughter is studying. Excellent. Uh, Thank you so much. After you, we're going to listen to Elias and then my dad. I think that are the only ones that I'm... Okay, the Nora is here now. <clears throat> Elias? Hello. Hello. My father is watching TV. Okay. My mother. Mm -hmm. My mother is 
Is sleeping. Is sleeping. Okay, my mother is sleeping. And now we're going to listen to my dad. Teacher, ya los dije. You gave me, you gave me the examples, right? Yeah. About the mom, my mom is sleeping. Mom and brother. My brother is... Ah, okay. Yeah. You were the first one. Okay, sorry. Now, uh, Dinora, I don't know if you uh, have some examples to give us. Uh, my husband is... My husband? Is lavar is washing. Is wa washing, yeah. Washing the car. Ah, okay. It's washing the car. Excellent. Uh -huh. My father is sleeping. My father is sleeping. Sí. There you go. Thank you so much. Rodrigo, can you give me one or two examples about something that people at, at home are doing right now? People at your house are doing right now in your house are doing? Okay, okay, okay. Hello, okay. everybody. Where, where my mother is watching me. Yeah. Uh huh. And my brother is playing video games. That's right. My bra is playing video, video games. games. Yeah. Okay, video games. Excellent. I, Thank you so much. Uh, I, let me check. Hello. And I'm watching the classes. <laughs> and you're watching the class. Okay. You are attending. You are attending the English class, right? In this case, Roberto said that his wife is cooking. Okay. He wrote that in the chat. Excellent. So we're just going Teach. to be missing some examples. Hello. Estaría bien decir, my brother is working at night. My brother is working at night. No, yeah. uh, because it's the present. So you say my brother is working right now. Mm -hmm. You can say right now, you can say now, or you can say at the moment. At the moment, right now, or now. Now let's continue. Uh, if uh, Carla uh, or, or Gladys wants to participate, you can say, it, right? You can give your examples. Mm. Yo pensaba decir, my son is playing, pero ya dijeron playing in no, the it's garden. No it's what is happening in your house. No problem. You can repeat that. Okay. Playing in the garden. Playing in the garden. Okay. Nice. What else? Okay. Only that example. No problem. Very good. So. You gave a lot of examples, you see? So yeah, you are experts now to use the, the present continuous. Experts in using the present continuous. So we can continue with the next part. So I am going to uh, take a screenshot here because it's they are really good examples. Okay, so we have to keep this as a, as a memory of the, your examples. One, two, and three. Okay. Perfect. And I'm going to share with you now this part. Okay, right here. So um, this is what we practiced yesterday, okay? The, if you remember the explanation, the two conversations, and that's it. Now we're going to, well, I'm going to ask you some questions about families, about families, okay? If you, if you pay attention, we have been talking about family here. So I am going to um, share with you some questions, but first of all, let me take, uh, well, paste the screenshot here. Okay. Um, I have a couple of questions that you're going to discuss in the breakout rooms. Okay. Um, let me check. So the first question that you're going to discuss is, are friends as equal, 
as important, sorry, are your are friends as important as family? That's the first question that you're going to discuss in the breakout rooms. Are friends, I'm going to write it in the chat, are friends as important as family? Yes, no, why? Okay, as important as, tan importante como, right? So are friends as important as family? That's the question number one. You can copy and paste. You can write it down in your notebook or in your agenda. That's okay. Question number one, are friends as important as family? Explain, give your reasons, okay? Give the reasons for your answer. Next question. This apply for the people who have uh, brothers and sisters, okay? So the question is, Do you get along well with your brothers and sisters, with your siblings? Do you get along well? What is get along? What is the meaning of get along? Any idea? Get along. Llevarse bien. Correct. To have a good relationship, right? With, with, uh, with someone. So in this case, your siblings, brothers and sisters. So do you get along well? Do you have a good relationship with your brothers and sisters? You can say, yeah, most of the time, but sometimes we have, we have arguments, right? We have discussions. Okay, it's something that happens, right? With brothers and sisters. Okay, um, next question is, Okay, here you are. This is something uh, funny, okay? Something interesting because everybody has a name, right? Everybody has a name, but what is the reason of your name? So it has to do with family. So the question number three is, how did you get your name? How did you get your name? Your mother, your father made a decision, your grandfather, why your name, why Loida, why Roberto, why did not, the, the reason of your name, okay? And um, the last one is, how big is your family? How big is your family? So you can mention a little bit about um, how many uh, uncles, aunts, cousins, nephews, sisters you have. Uh, so it's how big. Wait a second. I'm going to to send to send you the question through the chat. How big is your family? Okay. So uh, it's just a little discussion. You're going to practice a lot of speaking, right? And uh, if you want to ask more questions about family, it's okay if you have time. Okay. So. Uh, for example, you can ask questions like, um, do you visit your grandparents frequently or your parents every now and then? Um, do you think that your parents were strict with you or do you think that family should influence your decisions? Yes, no, why? Which decisions? Okay, uh, what are some family traditions that you have, okay? like? something that is common in your family, that can be extra questions about family. So I am going to send you to the breakout rooms. Do you have any questions before the, the conversations or the discussions? Yes, no, let's go. So apparently we don't have any questions. So I am going to create the breakout rooms. Let me make sure that everybody's here. Okay, apparently, yes. I hope that everybody can speak, right? With one exception only, but that's not a problem. We can continue with the conversations. So for this conversation, you are going to have exactly four minutes, maximum five, in case you need an extra minute, okay? I am going to stop by uh, the breakout rooms. And uh, again, it is better that you think about an extra question, right? Um, 
for example, an extra question that it's a little uh, more, let's say, specific is like, who takes uh, or who, who makes decisions at home? Is your father, your mother, both? It's you because you are the responsible at home. So that can be another idea. Or describe the people who live with you, right? What is your mother like? What is your sister like? What is your husband like? So you can talk about personality, about characteristics. So the most important that I want right now is that you speak a lot, okay? That you practice uh, describing people, giving reasons, discussing, right? Discussing that because that's the way that you uh, put into practice the language. So here we go. Your time begins in the moment that you enter the breakout rooms with your partner. Ready, set, and go. Set the invitation now, please. See. All right. Pinora, are you there? Carla? Good. So everybody's there now. Let's check this out. personal. Ajá. Las que mandó él. Ok. Eh, yo, yo tengo las preguntas acá. Espérame. La voy a compartir. Ay, ¿qué, qué pasó? Hola. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, I think that Gladys is having some connection problems. Yeah. Okay. So in the meantime, uh, we can probably just discuss a little bit. Hopefully she will come back to the session. Um, so our friends are as important as, as family. What do you think about that? In my opinion, uh, the family is more important because they are in all moments. In we like we like in our vidas in our life. Uh -huh. oh. Okay. Okay. And and friends. Um, they are in a moment, but no in all life. Got it. Ellos solo están en un momento, o aparecen en algún momento, pero no han estado ahí desde los inicios, pero no sé cómo es. Okay, I get your point. So they haven't been there as long as family. Okay. Um, however, do you think it's possible that some friends become as close as family? Like you feel that one of your friends is like a brother for you? Do you think it's possible that you get a friendship that, that gets very special and you feel like it's part of your family? Um, my sister. Is my best friend. Eh, mujer, no sé cómo se dice para decir mi mejor amiga. Creo que es el mismo, pero. Uh, yeah, you can say girlfriend. Uh -huh. Girlfriend. Uh, it's possible when you're specific, right? You're specifying that it's a. Yeah, it's a, it's a girl. Okay. okay. So um, the second question was. Well, you can ask me if you want, or I ask you the question. Oh, are friends as important as family? 
Mm, wait a second. I think uh, Gladys is coming back. Um, so hopefully she can practice with you, but I'm not sure. Maybe she has some internet connection problems. So I think that uh, family is probably more important than friends. However, uh, I think there are some exceptions. There are some exceptions because there are some friends that are really, really, really special and you feel that they are with you all the time. So they support you, they help you, they listen to you. And sometimes you don't find that in, 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 in family. So maybe there, there, can be, there can be some exceptions. Okay, yeah. I think Veronica is alone, so she's coming to practice with you. So you can practice the second question now. Okay. Veronica, welcome. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, so you're going to practice with Isaac now because your partner lost connection. So uh, yes. the question for you two is, do you get along well with your brothers and sisters? Give your answer and uh, give examples, give reasons why you have a good or bad relationship with them. Okay, and then you continue the question three and question four. All right. With my sister. Okay, teacher. I make the dishes. What is your mother like? Yeah, you can listen. Um, ¿Qué le gusta a, a, a tu mamá? Mm, no. Creo, what's, no, your, what's, what's your mother like? It's como es su mamá. Como like a description. Ella, that, uh, mm -hmm. it, it, it can okay. be personality, it can be appearance. No problem. Uh, okay. But it's more important personality than appearance. <laughs> okay. If my, you want to talk about appearance... Is, you know, if you want to talk about appearance, it's better to ask the question, what does your mother look like? So that would be more like. focused on the physical aspects. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. Continue. Very good. Dinora? And my mother is... Brother and three uncles. Three uncles. Mm-hmm. Three uncles. Well, in my case, my my family is is little, but little. The, the family that we know, because okay. I don't I I don't know the third no the thirty the thirty siblings of my mother, for example. In this case, we have a big family, but... Okay. In Santa Ana. Yes, in Santa Ana. Lejos. It's far. <laughs> far. <laughs> far, yeah, it's far. Okay, so do you finish the questions? Girls, Sonia and my dad, did you finish yeah, asking from the questions? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, you finished. And Olympia, and Olympia is from my grandmother, uh, who is mother from my mother. So what is? So that is why my name is Lloyd Olympia. It's very interesting your history uh, from your name. <laughs> yes, teacher. Hello. I have a question. Okay, ask. How do you, how do you, how do you say um, alcaldía o asentar? Because I have I I tell Teresa why my name is. Lloyd Olympia, but I don't know how how do you say alcaldía o asentar en alcaldía. Okay, Things so like in this that. case, the, the place the place is the city hall. The city hall, okay. 
City Hall. Uh -huh. uh, asentar, I don't know. I will have to look it up. Uh, yeah, because I never thought about that. Asentar. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that would be homework for me. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, no excellent. So you finished with the questions, right? The majority of the questions, yes? The majority, yes. Okay, uh, so we're going to go back to the main session because we have some other activities to work on. Okay, excellent. excellent. Okay, okay, see you later. See you. See you. Teacher. Hello. Hello, I have a question. When you, uh, hijos de otros matrimonios. Uh -huh. uh, siblings happened? for another. No, the, the, uh, you know how, 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 to, how, to, how to say hermano por parte de papá, for example. For example, for example, mi uh -huh. mamá tiene casi 30 hermanos. My goodness. The, Sí, mi abuelo se metió con todo el pueblo. <risa> Entonces, <risa> en ese caso, porque okay. no es como venir a decir se fue con otra familia, ¿verdad? Sino que tenía muchas uh -huh. familias. Ya. Yeah. Entonces. So, <risa> so in this case, you can say my mom has many siblings, or you can say she has 30 siblings by my father's side, by my father's side. Or, well, my, by my grandfather's side, okay? Uh, por parte de mi abuelo, sería en este caso, ¿verdad? Suyo. Um, so, yes, you can say that. Eh, for example, I can say, I have two siblings by my father's side, okay? By my father's side. Side, like from the lado de, de papá, right? S by my father's side. S -E -G -E. E. S I D E. S I D E. Okay. Ana Maria, what is the question? Um, how do you say piel blanca? Uh, well, it can be Caucasian, like um, that would be that would be in the passport or in the formal documents. Uh, normally people say white, like I'm white. Um, um and let me check another word that we can use. I'm not sure if it's possible to say fair, fair skin. That's another another possible word. Fair, like F A I R. Fair. For the hair, I know that is possible. For the skin, yeah, it's possible too. A uh, fair skin. That is like light skin. Uh, piel clara. That's another option, but you can say white or you can say Caucasian, Caucasico, they call it. So um, that would be the way to say it. Okay, anybody else who has a comment or question? Do you like discussing these questions with your, with your classmates? Did you practice a lot of speaking? Did you do a lot of uh, discussion? Yes, no? Loida says, thumbs up. That's a yes. Okay. Did you discover something interesting? I think so. I think you discovered some things about your classmates. Teacher, Hello? Se dice hogareño? How do you say? How do you say hogareño? Hogareño. Mm -hmm. Hogareño, entendido como que le gusta bastante estar en la casa, ¿no? Ajá, o como que es muy familiar, muy... Okay, if it is uh, like that, it would be a family, a family man, a family woman. Uh, it's, it's, uh, that's the way that we say that someone is very close, very uh, concentrated or focused on the families. So if, you, if I say I'm a family man, that means I love that, the concept of having a wife, having, a, having children or staying at home together, sharing, doing things together. So I'm a family man. Uh, but 
like um, Ogareño or Agareña. Not sure about what word we can use. Mm, let me check it out. Check it out. So um, check that out. In this case, we can say that someone who likes to stay at home is called home-like. Apparently home-like is, um, is, is an adjective to describe that. Home-like, together, home-like. That would be a word. Um, okay, so if now if you don't have any other questions or comments, thank you for asking. I love that uh, because we all learn something new, okay? Like somebody, I have homework. Somebody asked me, teacher, how do you say asentar en la alcaldía, right? So City Hall, I know that is the, the place, right? But then asentar, I have no idea. But it has to be something formal, right? It has to be something formal. So uh, no, maybe register a uh, baby's name, something like that. So it's it's a complete phrase, probably. But yeah, it's something formal, like like registered. Huh? Hacendado. Hacendado. Home, I mean, that would be a that would be a, a landlord, uh, someone who has a, who is the owner of a land of, of a of a property. Land? He's a landlord. Lord. Landlord. Landlord. Yeah. The señor. El señor de la tierra. Landlord. <laughs> sí. Yeah. It can, uh, landlord is also for someone who has a house and you rent the house. So uh -huh. you are the landlord and people give you the money every month, right? So. Is it uh, a mujer? <laughs> um, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. Some words in English have only a, a male, <laughs> a male version. <laughs> so um, yes, I know yeah. because in the other class we talk about the ama the, the, the housewife. But what happens mm -hmm. with the if husband? it is a man? Uh -huh. Yes, a husband. It's okay. A house husband. Uh, house, <laughs> yeah, it sounds, house, it's husband. house husband is not so common. Uh -huh. You're mm -hmm. right. So. There are some imperfections <laughs> in the language. There are some imperfections yeah. in the language. Yeah, definitely. Now, typical families. Um, here we're just going to talk about some facts in the United States, but this is from many years ago, okay? In the present, it's different. Um, this is from 2002, I think. It's like 20 years ago. <laughs> so, um, in the United States, right, uh, around 41 homes, a uh, percent of homes have three or more televisions. In the present, it's more, more than 41%. 63% of families almost always eat dinner together. In the present, probably no, because everybody's eating in different places in the United States. 55% uh, of mothers with young children work. Now it's more than 55%. 78% uh, of high school students have jobs. Probably that is similar in the present. Um, so it's very common for high school students to work in the United States. They study and work. In El Salvador, it's not so common. 74% uh, of adults between the ages of 18 to 35 marry. Probably now is, <laughs> I don't know, maybe less, I don't know. <laughs> I would say that maybe it's less. 27% um, of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents. So these are some percentages about the US, the typical families. In El Salvador, it's different, right? So um, because of time, we're not going to be discussing too much, but we can try to guess, just come up with a name, think of a name, uh, I mean, a, a number, Okay, and let's say, how many, I mean, what is the percentage of homes you think have three or more televisions in El Salvador? Give me a number. You can write it in the chat, okay? So we have different opinions. Or you okay. open your microphone and you say a number. Three or more Attentious. televisions at home. Mm -hmm. Attentious. 20? 
Twenty percent? Thirty percent? Yeah. Ten percent? Twenty. Okay. Yeah. Twenty can be maybe fifteen. Uh huh. Correct. Three or more. Yeah. Maybe two televisions is more common, but three it's not so common. Okay. What percentage of families almost always eat dinner together in the Salvador? Hmm. Casi siempre comen juntos. Uh huh. La cena. In El Salvador, what do you think? I think 10%. 10. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ana Maria says 10 too. Okay, 10%. Loida says 15 in the previous one, right? So, Ada? I think 25%. 25%? Mm, maybe less. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> so, the majority said 10, maybe 10%. Let's go with the next one. Percent, percentage of mothers with young children who work. In El Salvador. Hmm, that's a mm. lot. Okay. Mothers con, con niños uh, o con niños uh, jóvenes que les toca trabajar a las mamás, no a los hijos. So what would be the percentage in El Salvador? More than 50? <laughs> Eloita yeah. says 85%. I think 70 percent. 70, 75. Yeah, 70, 75 percent. I would say, I would say 80. I would say 80 or 85. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next question. Percentage of high school students who have jobs. High school. Yeah. High school students who have jobs. Mm. I think 10 percent. 10? Five in high school. Five or ten percent. Yeah. yeah, it depends, right? It depends on the area. I suppose that in San Salvador, it's more common that people get opportunities to work and study high school, maybe. Um, but here in San Miguel, it's not so common. It's not very common. Maybe only in December, right? On vacations, but... <laughs> Normally, they, they don't. Next one, percentage of adults between the ages of 18 and 35 who get married. Okay. I, am, I am out. I am out of that percentage. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. What do you think? Elia says 40. Ana Maria says 40. Yes. I think 50%. 50%, 50 yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 50 or 60, right? 50 or 60. Okay. Yeah, probably yes. Um, no, not my case, but yes, the, a lot of people do it. <laughs> um, it's about decisions, right? So we continue. <laughs> <laughs> percentage of adults between the ages of 18 and 34 who live with their parents. Mm -hmm. What do you think? 80%. In El Salvador? In there Salvador. are different scenarios, yes. right? There are different scenarios. The most common scenario is that you live with your parents at between 18 and 34, but you look for a job, you have your salary, yeah. okay? And it's not your house, <laughs> normally, yeah. okay? There are some cases in which you live with your parents, they give you the food, they give you everything, and you don't work, you don't do anything, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> or maybe you only study, maybe you only study. Um, and there are some cases, like my case, that yes, my, my mom lives here, but it's my house, so it's different. <laughs> so I don't live with her, she lives with me. So, uh, but in the end, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a, a similar story, right? A similar uh, situation. Now, um, quickly, because of time, we're going to move on to the last part of today's session. So we're going to have a little conversation. Uh, I come from a big family. So yeah. um, here, I just need uh, volunteers, okay? So we're going to have conversations here, not in the breakout rooms, okay? How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mei Li? Actually, I'm an only child. 
actually, I'm an only child. Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. You, you're practicing, right? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. Nowadays. One child. Okay. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? What about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. <laughs> okay. So, um that's the situation so the volunteers i see let me check how many people are raising hands raise your hand please if you want to participate so we have uh rodrigo and elias elias okay alba soveda and okay perfect so rodrigo you're going to practice with alba and elias you're going to practice with soveda okay so Rodrigo and Alba, Marcos and Meili. One, two, and three. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child on our way. Nowadays. Nowadays. Uh -huh. Nowadays. Nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. That's right, very good. That's for them. Thank you so much. We continue with Elias and Soveda. Excellent, thank you guys. Elias, ready, Soveda, ready. One, two, and three. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meli? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child. Not what they is. One child I nowadays. Didn't know that. No I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days but big families are great right. because you get a lot of birthday present that's right okay thumbs up for you let me check where the reactions are here okay so tada and thumbs up so uh, thank you elias and soeda do we have two more volunteers we have time for two more volunteers so this is your moment to practice. Dun, 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 dun. Let me check. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Okay, three, two, one. Miguel, excellent. And somebody who wants to practice with Miguel? One boy or one girl, no problem. Ana Maria, perfect, thank you so much. So Miguel and Ana Maria, ready, set, action. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, most family in China have only one child. Nowadays. 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 I, yeah. did, I didn't know that. What about you, Marco? I come from a family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, it's that typical in Peru. No, really. A lot of 
families are smaller there these days, but which families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Birthday presents, that's correct. Yay. Excellent, thank you so much. Um, we're going to uh, stop here with the volunteers. I appreciate it. And uh, don't worry, you still have one more day to volunteer and practice. So uh, tomorrow is the last day of classes, right? Of the module number one of the pre-intermediate level. Um, something that you can see in the next in the next pages in the next of the book, right? Mm -hmm. Is the quantifiers that you probably already know, right? When we say all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, mm -hmm. few, or no one. Okay. So I I want you to please take a screenshot. Uh, so later you can try to complete the exercise in your notebook, please. You are going to rewrite the sentences using quantifiers. For example, in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. Okay, 50%. Uh huh. If you see 100% all, no one, zero. So in the middle, in the middle, we have some. Okay, some can be 50, 50 and 50, right? So you are going to write in your notebook, number one, in China, some women get married by the age of 22. Okay, some women. Uh, or uh, they, another example, 87% of, in Australia, 87% of married couples have children, 87. Hmm, that's a lot. So maybe you can say most. Most can be the, the equivalent to 87, most. And, and you go like that, right? So that's the exercise that you're going to complete only. And tomorrow we check at the beginning of the class. Okay, it's really easy just to practice a little bit. And something that I have to remind you that is very, very important on the platform today, you should be finished with the section five and you should be completing the, the final quiz. So, para este día, sí deberían de tener ya lista las, la sección cinco en la plataforma y uh, estar ya trabajando en el examen. Okay. Um, my advice would be that you finish with the final test tomorrow. Uh, probably in the morning or during lunch, right? So that in the at, at night, in the evening, when we have the class, you don't worry, we have the class, we have fun, we play some games, we practice English, we say goodbye, we take a picture and you go to sleep. So, uh, or to have dinner, to have a party, whatever you want, but try to finish everything place uh, on the platform, not later than tomorrow during the day, okay? If you have any inconvenience, any problem, let me know. Uh, Teresa, do you have a question? Soveda, somebody? Before we finish today's session? Not a chance. Speak now or forever no. hold your peace. That's the way that you say, hable ahora o calle para siempre. En ese caso, calle esta mañana. Hasta que escriben el chat. So um, that will be all. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your effort, your participation, and your motivation to learn the language, okay? So have a good night, take care of yourself, and I will see you tomorrow, God willing, God willing, okay? So sweet dreams, hasta la vista, as Terminator said, <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> and that will be all for today. Thanks Thank you, a lot. Hey, Thanks, Amelia. Thank you so much. Au revoir. Good night. Take Bye. care. Arrivederci. Ciao. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Perfect.